Namaste, this is Binu Kurian, the host for the show Dream to Destiny. Today I have a privilege uh, to bring in a very interesting colleague of mine who star, uh, whose name is also Binu. His name is uh, Binu Prasad, who heads uh, you know, uh, human capital uh, with the Wakira Group of Investments company in UAE. It's a $250 million company and he manages around 5,000 plus staff. And uh, he's a basically a human resource person. Uh, what I want to bring in uh, through him, uh, you know, uh, is that, you know, he is a person who started as a hotel management graduate and those days in 1990s, hotel management was on the peak, but uh, HR was just only really addressed as personal administration, personal administration. Uh, here, he took a very brave decision because and also you should understand that, you know, the hotel management jobs were paid more, whereas HR was not at all paid uh, well at that time. And he took a very bold decision, uh, seeing his strengths and skills, you know, and uh, his passion for uh, meeting people and doing good things for uh, human uh, resources. And he took a career in that. And today, uh, he had he understood what his calling is, and he uh, dedicated all his uh, strengths to that job. And he has become very successful in UAE and in India. And uh, his credentials is too high to discuss here. And you know, from what he was from born from a very small uh, village in uh, you know Palakkad in Nelmara to where he is, it's a very big achievement. So people who are listening to me should understand that you know if you have a good focus in life and if you're willing to put to the best efforts, you can reach your dream. So I'm very much happy to bring in uh, Binu Prasad and let us hear his professional journey, how we are reached where he is. Thank you. Hi Binu, you are with me, Binu Kurian on the hot seat for Dream to Destiny. Namaste Binu. Thank you very much for inviting me for a chat. I'm going to ask you some questions. Why did you select HR over uh, hotel operations after passing out your hotel management? Uh, very interesting question that you asked. Uh, why did I choose human resources over operations um, after hotel management uh, graduation? Well, for me, luckily for me, um, pay or money was never a motivator while I chose my career options. Um, not everybody is blessed with that. Um, by God's grace, uh, it never came to me as in my priority list while I was choosing my career, you know, career progression. Every time when I had to move from one career option to another career, uh, I never had to actually keep that as a criteria, as a one of the topmost criteria for choosing my, um, you know, my my movements in career. <clears throat> HR um, to me happened very accidentally and um, it was a great accident I would say I, I really I enjoy I really like that accident um, it happened to me and I kind of fell into it by kind of a design and by God's grace um, that's that's where I realized that this is where I belong to uh, my heart really desired this and I could find a lot of alignment with with the skill sets the innate skills that i have in me uh, which i never realized it until i got into it i kind of realized that um, um, you know i do have um, a lot of inner qualities in me which fell absolutely in alignment with what an hr uh, person would need so i grabbed that and i started uh, enjoying um, every moment of my journey in human resources so even till today uh, till today i i really enjoy enjoy the work that i do in hr because it's a it's a it's a kind of a journey where you are con constantly and continuously contributing you're contributing to people you're contributing to people development you're contributing you're actually helping loving and caring people um, what more you need in your life and and than being of service to others so I kind of uh, I kind of liked this I kind of fitted very well into it and um, and I and I loved it and I, I, I really I really felt that this is this is where my passion lies and um, so that's that's how human resources happened to me and um, well it's paying me it's paying me reasonably well 
and um, well by God's grace everything has been very nice for me all this while uh, in my career so learned a lot learned a lot in human resources and um, had opportunities um, to handle difficult situations challenges uh, but I really re really thoroughly enjoyed uh, the entire journey in human resources for the last 25 years or so so it's quite quite interesting so I just everything everything felt so beautifully well for me in human resources that's that's what it is uh, Bino, could you just let us know your career journey so far? Well, um, soon after the hotel management in 93, um, I went and pursued my hotel uh, hotel administration post-graduation uh, for another year and a half. Um, I was very young, um, very, very young. And um, so I wasn't so uh, lucky at that time to to really realize I mean where do I really fit into um, what is what is that I really want to do um, of course I mean I, I enjoyed and I loved uh, food and beverage service so uh, I felt I mean that's where I would fit into and I just um, got into a hotel operations worked in uh, worked with the ambassador group of hotels in Mumbai um, then I kind of felt that um, you know I, I seem to be enjoying uh, teaching I seem to be liking training people so I got into um, into teaching for teaching career for about four years um, so it was an interesting uh, phase in my career where I where I started teaching my favorite subject food and beverage service operations and management um, I became um, one of the best teacher in the in the college um, I still remember those days where um, you know it, it's always every day was very interesting because you had so many students around you and then you're teaching them till date I mean till today I mean I have so many of my students um, who are still still in touch with me so it's, it's a great it had an uh, I was blessed to have that uh, four years of career span in teaching uh, students um, post that I actually got into um, uh, marine Marine Plaza, Saro Park Plaza group of hotels, um, hotel in Mumbai, where I, I, be, I joined as a training manager. I spent about a year, year and a half there, um, and that's when I got selected by uh, Taj Hotels as well as the Obray Hotels. In fact, um, the offer uh, for both the hotels came to me at the same time as an assistant training manager. So, I mean, I had, I had my own gurus who could uh, who I could actually seek advice from um, based on based on all the elders advice I opted for Robray hotels and I started working with the Raj Vilas uh, in Jaipur um, and Trident Hotel Jaipur as a cluster training manager so I was actually three days in one place and three days in the other place so had my difficult times at the Obray hotels uh, it wasn't an easy journey um, with all the limitations that I had at that time, uh, and with the kind of uh, with the kind of people that you uh, you normally get to see in uh, Oberoi hotels, um, it wasn't a cakewalk for me. So I kind of had my own uh, tough uh, phase and tough journey, but um, I never I never gave up on on my my uh, you know strive towards success never never so it kind of um, made me really quickly grow and um, after a year uh, year or so at the Jaipur Rajvilas Hotel Oberoi Rajvilas Hotel I was transferred to Oberoi Bangalore as a training manager um, that was a great uh, opportunity for me and a month, a month, exactly a month later after I joined the Obray Hotel Bangalore, um, the HR, uh, the HR head of Bangalore Obray Hotel had to got transferred to the corporate office of the GMHR, and uh, there weren't anybody to handle HR. So the next choice at that point of time was me, 
and I was very young. I was very, very young and uh, such a big hotel. And uh, the HR responsibilities fell onto my shoulder. And interestingly, um, the union, uh, trade union negotiation was happening at that time. Um, that was the second negotiation of that trade union. And I, I had no idea how to handle uh, industry relations. I had no idea how to handle trade union. Um, but then I was remotely managed from the corporate HR in Delhi. And kind of, um, I kind of journeyed through the entire journey. And then the trade union uh, people became very, very, very um, close to me. And I kind of knew how to actually maneuver my way through uh, the, the, the stalwarts of the trade union. Um, so it, it kind of gave me an experience of people relations. It kind of gave me an experience of how to handle difficult uh, people, how to handle uh, people who can get agitated very fast. Uh, how, could, um, how could you actually change the mindsets of the people? Um, and especially when you need to um, go through a wage negotiation. Uh, it wasn't easy. I mean, you know, multiple number of meetings, uh, conflicts, um, disagreements on on pay structure, on the pay scales, um, and then and then also managing them inside the hotel, outside the hotel. Uh, it was a great experience, and then I kind of completely got into the groove of human resources, industrial relations. Um, employee welfare, employee training and development. So I got into all that stuff and I became a hub uh, manager for the uh, Oberoi Center for Learning and Development Recruitment. So the, the southern part of India was actually handled by me where uh, I was the hub, uh, southern hub manager for, for conducting interviews for OCLD. Um, so I did the entire, uh, uh, you know, the, the intro, the preliminary interviews until the semi-final interviews was all well managed, coordinated by me. I used to go and give presentations um, on on all the colleges all by myself uh, and, and collect all the uh, candidates. You know, go put them through the uh, the processes of OCLD until the um, semi-final uh, interviews are done. So so I, I I enjoyed it and OCLD at that time uh, we. Uh, when OCLD went through another process of uh, creating something called OSER and that was I was instrumental in uh, in that. Um, post Obroy Bangalore I moved to Trident um, Cochin as an HR manager. Uh, a very different experience, a very young crowd. So I kind of got an opportunity to work with the younger crowd. Then I moved to Trident Chennai, um, worked with the Trident Chennai, again a trade union. So. That was another experience and I was actually at this, I joined at the stage of closing a wage negotiation. Quite difficult, then um, worked in Trident Chennai and a very old set of employees and I had to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, separations, uh, retrenchment of people. So kind of moved my experiences into all areas of people handling, behavior, people behavior handling and all that stuff. Moved out of hotels and joined uh, Manipal Hospital Bangalore as a head of HR. That was another challenge where I had to manage 2,500 employees, of which um, of which about 250 to 300 doctors, um, so 900 odd uh, paramedical staff, uh, plus uh, the remaining uh, support function staff. It was it was a challenge because uh, the mindset was quite different. Uh, bringing in performance assessment and culture in that uh, hospital was a was a great achievement that I had. I enjoyed I enjoyed working again another trade union there are two trade unions in that uh, hospital, uh, one with an external affiliation. So it, it had it had given me through a lot of challenges to me. I learned a lot uh, from the hospital background. Uh, then I was actually called. Um, by uh, an ex Obroy of my a friend of mine, to while they opened uh, Ista Hotel in Bangalore, which was which belonged to Ananda in Himalayas. So I joined them, and I kind of um, as an HR director, I opened that property, and uh, so everything from pre-opening, and I never had a pre-opening experience. That was the first time that I had a pre-opening experience, and I kind of moved into that. Post Ista, I moved to Gulf. I came and joined a company in uh, UAE. 
I was heading HR as a group, uh, HR head for um, a hospitality company which had about uh, 1,800 employees. Hotels, restaurants, uh, nightclubs, cafes, lounge, catering. So it, it had varied um, uh, complexity. And I worked with them for about two and a half years, uh, three years, and then I moved to uh, Bahrain, where I was a general manager in HR um, and training for uh, again another hospitality company, which which had about seven hotels, um, five service apartments, a one facility management company. So, so there I managed um, the HR for about four years, and post that I and. That's the time that uh, Bahrain had uh, social unrest. Uh, so I moved out of uh, Gulf and went back to, De to India, Delhi, where I um, was hired as an assistant vice president, um, human resources uh, and scalability and innovation as, you know, as um, looking after four business verticals at that time, uh, hospitality, senior living, um, you know, integrated medicine and uh, medical education. Uh, a kind of, uh, again, a startup company. I started everything. I opened uh, the Wana retreats in Dehradun uh, as their AVPHR. Uh, post that, um, after opening that property, I moved out of uh, that and came back to Gulf ever since um, 2013. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been in I've been in Gulf. Uh, I've, I'm currently now working as a, a head of HR, corporate HR for a for an investment company, which is uh, which is into acquisitions and um, uh, take acquisitions and merger uh, of uh, hotels and F&B. So, so that's where I am now. So it's been a it's been a very interesting journey in various places, um, working with multiple nationalities. Uh, different culture and uh, different kind of challenges. The challenges in India and abroad is quite different. Um, overall, and a very joyful journey, I would say. So that's what that's what I've been actually uh, through in my life now.